CJ, our newest CJ. <laughs> Congratulations not only on becoming a member of the NBA, but more importantly, a member of the Portland Trailblazers, uh, such a fantastic organization you will find out if you haven't already heard, but it's, it's great. I can only imagine what a whirlwind the last 24 hours or so have been. Can you kind of explain what your experience has been like? I'm really trying to digest it all, you know, and, and come to terms with how I'm feeling. You know, it's, it's still kind of hard to believe, um, but it's just a dream come true. You know, this is something that I've um, been dreaming of a long time and and you know last year I went through the process and I got to see one of my closest friends Kevin Porter Jr. drafted um, and so to be here again this year and, and to be drafted to the Portland Trailblazers is, is great. And I know it was not an easy decision for you to leave Washington State early and enter the draft. I know that was difficult for you. You had a lot of different conversations with people in your family, people that you play with, your coaches, but you decided to do so. I just have to ask, as someone who will never experience this, most people in the world won't, the feeling when you hear your name called. I mean, what is that like? Really, you know, it's it was hard to to, like I said, digest it. I was on, I wasn't near the TV, I was outside actually, because I kind of just needed some fresh air. Um, and I had got the call, you know, that, and my agent had told me, and we were on kind of like pick 44. Um, but I go in the house and I'm like, everybody know, we gotta wait. It's not, the pick hasn't been, you know, they haven't said it yet. Um, and then I kind of held it together, you know, for for the next five to five-ish minutes. And then I got a call from uh, one of my closest friends growing up and, and to this day, PJ Fuller. Um, and he's at TCU right now, but um, just immediately, I just, I just broke down and, and, and got really emotional, you know. Um, and I think it was just seeing his face and it just brought back a lot of memories, you know, growing up in the AAU circuit and, um, you know, just a lot of basketball games, a lot of memories um, in different places in different states. Um, a lot of memories in Portland, um, you know, ICP is one of the, turn uh, one of the AAU teams out there. Um, and so I'm just familiar with the area. I've been there, you know, countless times. Um, so I'm just really excited, excited to be in the Pacific Northwest. Well, we're excited to have you. And you just mentioned you have had a lot of experiences <laughs> in Portland. What do you think of the city? What do you think of the fan base? I mean, I know you haven't experienced it like you will soon, but what do you know about them so far? I know the fan base is amazing. Um, you know, I, I've just been able to watch some of the games, you know, on TV and just the atmosphere looks great. Um, even some of the, the games with, you know, this recent playoffs or, or not, not this past year, but the year before, I believe, um, you know, with some of the shots Damian Lillard was hitting, um, my new teammate, you know, so it's, um, it's just crazy. It's great. I was going to get to that. Your new teammate, Damian Lillard. That's a pretty cool thing to be able to say. How excited are you to be able to play alongside him? Not only that, but learn from him. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm super excited. You know, this is obvi obviously a player who I've been able to watch. Um, and it's just amazing. It's a dream come true. You know, you don't, you don't, you can only imagine to be able to play alongside players like that, you know, and, and obviously we all love games like 2K. And so these are players who I get to play with, you know, use <laughs> the game and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, you kind of at that point where it's like, you're a fan in a way, but now we're teammates. And so, it's just, I'm ready to make that transition and I'm just super excited to, to get to meet everybody. Uh, when you decided you were going to enter the draft, I have a quote here from your head coach, Kyle Smith said, no matter what happens, no matter what happens, you're, it's gonna work out for well for you because of who you are. I know this is a tough question and I know you're young, you still are figuring out who you are. The rest of us are old, but for you, if you had to describe kind of the person that you are, we'll get to the player you are, but the kind of human being you are, how would you describe yourself? Um, I like to say that I'm easygoing, um, a down to earth, humble guy. You know, I've never um, cared too much about all the politics behind basketball uh, and the game of basketball that we play, but um, I've always loved the game and it's just something about it that's kept me close to it for these years and it's taken me all across the place, you know? Mm -hmm. And so um, I just feel like basketball has a special place in my heart and, you know, that's just, it's just a blessing to be able to be here. And, you know, it's just, it's, it's really hard to, to digest. Like I've been mentioning in all call, you know, uh, figure out my feelings, you know. 
I know I'm, I'm sure it'll take a while to kind of figure that out. This is a big deal. I mean, this is your dream. You're, you're getting to live your dream. Uh, doing a lot of research on you. Obviously, I knew who you were before because you play at Washington State, which we'll get to, but I, I promised I wouldn't talk too much about it. But I do have my hat right here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I read a lot that you are always have been a gym rat. Is that something that just kind of came naturally to you? You feel at home in the gym or is that something that you had to work, work on to make sure you were, you know, doing everything you could to be successful? Uh, I think it, it's it's something that you develop, you know, it's it's not easy um, waking up early, you know, before school, but I, I've done it for years, you know, and it's it's not easy after school choosing to go and back to the gym or, or back to do some more workouts uh, instead of hanging with your friends and doing stuff like that. But um, there's been countless years, you know, on top of each other where I made the decision to get up early, um, to go for a run, you know, to go to the gym. And uh, it's, it's paid off. And I have, you know, a lot of people in my corner who helped me along the way. I could really sit, you know, go, go down a long list of people, but I'm just super grateful. And um, yeah, like I said, you know, it's just, it's something I feel you develop. And it's something that I feel I've, I've been developing, you know, for some time now. It's, it's just work ethic and it's not easy. You know, it's, it's, it's a choice you make every day. Uh, last year at Wazoo, you averaged just over 18 points. It's just under eight rebounds, which Rip City will love. Love a good rebounder. Like to know if you could explain what you think your strengths are on the floor and how you can help this team. Um, I feel like I can be a consistent knockdown three-point shooter. Um, so be relied on in that point. And then also be able to create plays if I'm asked or needed to when, you know, if on a closeout or in a situation like that. And then also I feel like I could be relied upon on defense. Um, I feel like being able to be active in the passing lanes and get deflections and steals and, and you know, start the fast break. Um, I feel like I, I can play the exciting type of basketball that, that Portland, Portland plays and I'll fit right in. And are you, guy, are you kind of a guy out there that uh, so, soaks it all in? Are you a communicator? What kind of teammate are you when you're on the floor? Um, I feel like I, I like to bring the energy. So, you know, I, I feel like I like to communicate. Um, but really, I just I'm, I'm the type of guy that feeds off my environment and feeds off my teammates. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, like you mentioned, with with such a great fan base like you guys have, we have in Portland. You know, I can't wait to get <laughs> down there. Me now. <laughs> can't, can't wait to get down there. You know, I feel like um, I'm just going to feed off off of uh, everybody there. Well, that leads me uh, to my, I've been excited to ask you this question. I have been obviously, like I said, reading up and looking at all, I mean, tweeting. If you go to my Twitter, you'll see I tweeted like five things about last night. But the picture that keeps circulating and people keep reusing, it's obviously after you hit a three because you have the three, you know, three fingers. But you have this face that's like, I can't I can't do it. I didn't do it very well. But it's like <laughs> you're into it. You know, like, I want to know about your personality on the floor because you look the intensity is there. And so it's just something that I, I know that Rip City will feed off that you will feed off them. So I, is that kind of your personality when you're on the floor? Yeah, I'd say it's something that it's, it's a confidence that I, I get through my work ethic, you know, and, and being out on the floor is my favorite time just because we all as athletes, as professional athletes work hard, you know, and when we get to actually be in the moment and be in front of, you know, our fans, that's when we want to showcase what we can do. And so I just feel like once the game time comes, I'm kind of a, a different player in a way. I have a different type of energy for game day. Um, and I, I really just love competing. And so, yeah, like you said, um, my personality, I feel, is I, I like to bring the energy. I want to show emotion um, and express myself. And I think, like, you know, that, that'll fit right in. You said you're different on game days, which makes sense to me. Do you have any, I don't know, traditions or things that you like to do on game day just to set you up for success that you do all the time? Um, I wouldn't say I'm too nitpicky about, you know, doing a certain thing. I, I have a routine, you know, I like to get – get shots in at a certain time or a certain amount of time before the game, um, you know, have my music in, get, get a little bit of treatment uh, or whatnot, whatever I need. Mm -hmm. um, but really it's just kind of getting to his own kind of, you know, blocking all the other things that don't really matter out and then just being focused on, on your teammates and, and getting the job done. Uh, we've talked a couple of times just in the short amount of time about your confidence. I have to believe that your dad's my new favorite person because his Twitter handle, I, so I'm, I'm leading this to maybe you get a little bit from him. Obviously, I know maybe not a lot of people that aren't from around here or don't know a lot about the Seattle sports world. Uh, he's a fixture in Seattle basketball, your dad is. And on his Twitter, he played at Cal as well. On his 
Twitter handle. It's this is amazing. Garfield High School basketball legend. I love that he calls him that. <laughs> it made me so happy. I just can't wait to meet him. But I mean, you can put into words. You say you have a list of all these people that you want to thank and that are a part of this journey with you. I mean, is he atop the list? Uh, for sure. You know, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for him, you know, uh, taking care and raising me and my brothers and sister. So uh, always I, I got to thank him first, him and my mom, of course, um, who put up with him. So and that can't be and that's never been an easy task for any of us. So, you know, a big shout out to him. You know, obviously uh, basketball has been in my family um, for generations and I feel like I'm just kind of taking the torch from them, you know, and I've learned so much from them um, and listening to their stories. You know, my, my uncle Carl Irvin um, back in his day was was a great basketball player. So I just feel like I'm kind of living through them and they're living through me. Can you kind of explain for people who don't know exactly what your dad's journey and what he does now, how is he so involved in Seattle basketball? Yeah, so he went to uh, Garfield High School He's a, um, he's the legend. He's a legend. Remember, <laughs> he's a basketball legend. Ever. <laughs> yeah, and he was he was there with Coach Al, um, one of the legendary coaches there, and he was able to win, I, I believe, two state championships. Um, and he attended Cal University for four years. Uh, actually, was able to go and be a, a coach there the following year when Jason Kidd was there, um, and then he got into the coaching scene kind of in the Seattle area and coached for Roosevelt High School. Um, growing up, he, growing up, he coached all our sports teams. I mean, I kind of mm-hmm. after a while he stopped because we were about done with it. You know, he was our basketball coach um, <laughs> and just just around, you know, a little a little too much. But mm-hmm. uh, no, it was. Um, and now nowadays he, he he started something a couple years ago called Seattle Basketball Services. Mm-hmm. Um, I know he's helped some young players get to, you know, JUCOs, national JUCOs, community colleges, um, just to continue and further their education and basketball careers. So, you know, just being able to, you know, he's never took a step away from the basketball game since he's stopped playing. Um, and I know he's just been watching me grow and, and become the, the basketball player I am today. And, and is just super excited for me. I have to imagine um, the first home game that the Blazers play where fans are allowed, you're going to get a few ticket requests. <laughs> what do you think? Yes, yes, <laughs> I, I believe so. You know, that might be. Uh, a long list of people you know so we'll see about that but um no it's definitely exciting I'm, I'm super close to home uh one of those people I have to believe will be uh Jamal Crawford who was maybe as excited as your dad last night for you uh you grew up going to his basketball camps uh, he said it it made his night he was so happy you waited to see to see that happen for you last night um, how big of a role has he played in your growth you know, that's that's just kind of something that I think a lot of young kids in Seattle, you know, you grow up here and you're going to say, you know, Jamal Crawford, like a lot of kids my age, you know, he's always around. Um, I remember I remember in ninth grade, I was outside doing a workout on the field and and he was working out inside and um, I was actually able to to get a workout in with him at that moment. Um, and so just being able to do that in ninth grade, you know, and, and even instances before that where I'm able to be around him, Brandon Roy, Nate Robinson, all at the same time, you know, they're all in the same gym playing against each other. Um, stuff like that, where I get to listen to their stories, um, you know, and I get to see the legacy, how it's affected the people around them, the impact they have on the high school he went to, Rainier Beach. Um, and so that's actually the high school I was assigned to if I wouldn't have went to Cleveland High School, but um, it's just been inspiring really in it. It helps me shape some of the things that I may want to do because being able to be close to that and see that and, you know, touch that in a way, you know what I mean? Um, it, it obviously opens if it opens a lot of doors in my mind that, that, that things are possible. A lot of things are possible. Well, obviously we are in beaver and duck country. That's when them, they are all my BFFs. So, you know, we're all friends, we're all good, but this is exciting for me personally. Yeah, these are my two favorite hats. First Washington State Coug to be drafted by the Blazers, first to ever play for the Blazers. So this is really, really a big deal for Coug Nation. And now, you know, I have to believe there's going to be a whole new slew of Blazers fans just because of you. So we appreciate that. Uh, Just curious about how your time in Pullman shaped you, not only as a person, but as a player. I've read so many things about you said there's there's just no place like it. And I, I have to agree. 
I would say Pullman is exactly what I needed and it came ex exactly when I needed it, you know. Mm -hmm. um, being in Pullman for the last two years has been literally a breath of fresh air. You know, I was I was in Seattle growing uh, growing up and, and going to high school and I just I just kind of reached a point where I was just tired of all this the, the city life. I mean, yeah. I was just overwhelmed with a lot of things, you know, and I didn't really go far from home. I went, you know, four or five hours across across the state. Um, and being there, uh, it just helped me clear my mind. Um, I felt like I was able to move past a lot of things that may have been holding me back, you know, and um, a lot of weight. I, I felt free in Pullman. I didn't feel like I was tied down for any reasons, you know. Um, so I just felt like I was in, in Pullman, I was able to, to grow as a young man. Um, I was able to be on my own and be in my own headspace, you know, be away from my dad. Um, <laughs> so, you know, it was just, it was, it was great because I was just able to come into, you know, my own thoughts, my own, my own feelings and kind of being on my own for a while. It helped me um, learn more about myself as well. Cold and snowy winters though, huh? Yeah, yeah, very, you know, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's 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 pretty. I would describe Seattle as warm right now after being in Pullman the last two winters. Um, it's pretty warm right now. So, okay, I mentioned this at the beginning, and we'll come that we would come back to it. So, you are the second CJ on this team. I don't need to tell you that. That's actually been kind of a theme on Twitter. Like, has there ever been an NBA team with two CJs? I I haven't done the research, but I'll I'll figure it out. But just curious, you talked about what your uh, what you're most looking forward to uh, with playing with Dame, I'm curious, you know, CJ as well, obviously a powerhouse, amazing score and just a great teammate. So what do you think about CJ's game? I love his game, you know, his his mid range, you know, just how he creates his space, um, how he tricks the defenders. Um, and even just some of the moves he was doing uh, in that playoff run you guys had uh, to let, you know, the, the season I was talking about. Mm -hmm. um, it's just amazing to see, you know, and to be able to be a part of it, to be able to see it with my own eyes in person, it's going to be great. Um, and I'm just really excited to get to, to meet everybody on the team um, and all the coaches and, you know, all the faculty, all the staff. Um, so it's just, it's an exciting moment. And just to be able to be all their teammates and, and to join the family is, is great. You know, Neil Olshay has a pretty good track record with drafting CJs. No pressure, but <laughs> the last one panned yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> have you had any communication with the coaching staff or players? I know it's early and you've been bombarded with probably friends and family and people all over the country, you know, congratulating you, but do you have any plans to do that? And on top of that, what are your plans on coming to Portland? A few of the coaches have reached out to me uh, last night um, to congratulate me and welcome me. And um, I think we're going to be, there's, there's a lot of protocols, you know, going in, there's going to be some testing that has to be done, some physical. So I think that's pretty much first, that's first steps that's going to be taken is, is just make sure everything's in the clear. Um, and, and that's pretty much it. 